It used to be that you would design your brand message and push it out through traditional channels, television, radio. Instead of just paying attention to what was going on on somebody's network, we're now paying attention to what's being done all over the internet. You can think of the social web almost like a social phone. People use it for a variety of communications mechanisms. So oftentimes customers of brands will complain or they'll ask a question or they'll recommend you. And really, if someone calls your place of business and complains on the phone, you're not going to put the receiver down and just let it sit there and hope they go away. You're going to respond. You're going to have a conversation. The same thing's important on the social web. Uh, we have lots of customers using it simply from a how am I doing compared to my competitor's perspective. Because there's, you know, I may be Pepsi, but there's also nothing to stop me from putting in Coke and all the Coke's brands and watching how much commentary and discussion is around that brand as well. And when you show up and respond, um, people appreciate the fact that you're listening. Even if there's an issue, the fact that you acknowledge the issue and that you deal with it transparently um, gives you a lot of points as a brand that, you know, that you're listening and responding. Dell went through this process with the, the, the famous you know, Dell Hell concept where you know, a blogger started to use that term as his experience with customer support. And Dell really started to unmask their brand, listen, participate, and now issues come at them in a more personal way. Dell has over six to 7,000 conversations per day that mention their brand. So there's a lot of volume there to deal with. They have uh, something close to 50 people who are listening and responding and relating to bloggers online. There's over 100 million, 120 million blogs now, um, and there are sites with uh, you know millions of users. I think Facebook just crossed 200 million you know active users. Right now we're you know leaders in this space, um, but we want to become um, really that the undisputed leaders. Like there are you know. There is no other choice, and, and I think we've got some nice plans to, to get there. From MBF's standpoint, what is exciting now is that the company has transitioned from zero revenue to millions of dollars in revenue, and now has a base upon which it can grow globally. If you're the technical person, don't pretend you're the business person, because you're not. What you really need to do is go out and find uh, a business person that you could work with, um, that you can articulate that desire, that, that idea, that, that passion to, who also gets it. So we had a great idea, but we also timed it right, and that you know requires some smart thinking, but also requires some luck. And so sometimes, you, you know, entrepreneurs just need to keep trying out you know different things until they you know get the one that really succeeds. And and, they, and even the one that does succeed, they may find they want to go um, and do it again because they really have the skills and mindset to innovate at an early stage and others like to operate in companies that you know already have a lot of process around it and are a little bit bigger. It just depends on how you're wired.